We often seem to be a people with little patience for history or interest in the impact of past events on present realities. But time isn't linear and we aren't always moving forward. There is no other way to understand Africa today, without considering the history of the continent subscribe as we get to know why Africa is a third world in the continent. Poverty in Africa is the lack of provision to satisfy the basic human needs of certain people in Africa. African nations typically fall toward the bottom of any list measuring small-size economic activity, such as income per capita or GDP per capita, despite a wealth of natural resources. In 2009, 22 of 24 nations identified as having low human development on the United Nations, UN, Human Development Index were in sub-Saharan Africa. As of 2019, 424 million people in sub-Saharan Africa were reportedly living in severe poverty. In 2022, 460 million people an increase of 36 million in only three years were anticipated to be living in extreme poverty as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and war. In 2006, 34 of the 50 nations on the Union list of least developed countries were in Africa. In many nations, GDP per capita is less than US$5,200 per year, with the vast majority of the population living on much less, according to World Bank data. By 2016 the island nation of Seychelles was the only African country, with a GDP per capita above US$10,000 per year. In addition, Africa's share of income has been consistently dropping over the past century by any measure. In 1820, the average European worker earned about three times what the average African did. Now, the average European earns 20 times what the average African does. Most African nations have owed substantial sums of money. However, a large percentage of the money was either invested in weapons, money that was spent back in developed nations and provided little or no benefit to the native population or was directly misappropriated by corrupt governments. As such, many newly democratic nations in Africa are saddled with debt run up by totalitarian regimes. Large debts usually result in little being spent on social services, such as education, pensions, or medical care. In addition, most of the debt currently owed, approximately $321 billion, U.S in 1996 represents only the interest portion on the debt, and far exceeds the amounts that were actually borrowed, although this is true of large debts in developed nations as well. Authors Leans Ndikumana and James K. Boyce estimate that from 1970 to 2008, capital flight from 33 sub-Saharan countries totaled $700 billion. Most African nations are pushing for debt relief, as they are effectively unable to maintain payments on debt without extending the debt payments indefinitely. However, most plans to forgive debt affect only the smallest nations, and large debtor nations, like Nigeria, are often excluded from such plans. Corruption is also a major problem in the region, although it is certainly not universal or limited to Africa. Many native groups in Africa prioritize family relationships over national identity so people in authority often use nepotism and bribery for the benefit of their extended family group at the expense of their nations. For example, the Congolese President Mobutu C. Siko became notorious for corruption, nepotism, and the embezzlement of between $4 billion US dollars and $15 billion during his reign. Despite this, corrupt governments often do better than authoritarian ones that replace them. For example, under Ethiopian Emperor Hale Selassie, corruption was rife and poverty rampant. After his overthrow, corruption was lessened, but famine and military aggressiveness came to the fore. In any event, corruption both diverts aid money and foreign investment, which is usually sent to offshore banks outside of Africa, and puts a heavy burden on native populations forced to pay bribes to get basic government services. The greatest mortality in Africa arises from preventable waterborne diseases, which affect infants and young children greater than any other group. The principal cause of these diseases is the regional water crisis, or lack of safe drinking water primarily stemming from mixing sewage and drinking water supplies. Much attention has been given to the prevalence of AIDS in Africa. 
3,000 Africans die each day of AIDS and an additional 11,000 are infected. Less than 1% are actually treated, 30, however, even with the widespread prevalence of AIDS, where infection rates can approach 30% among the sexually active population, and fatal infections such as the Ebola virus, other diseases are far more problematic. In fact, the situation with AIDS is improving in some nations as infection rates drop and deaths from Ebola are rare. On the other hand, diseases once common but now almost unknown in most of the industrialized world, like malaria, tuberculosis, tapeworm and dysentery often claim far more victims, particularly among the young. Polio has made a comeback recently due to misinformation spread by anti-American Islamic groups in Nigeria. Diseases native to Africa, such as sleeping sickness, also resist attempts at elimination too. Colonialism concentrated on connecting the coast with internal territories. As such, nearly none of Africa's roads and railways connect with each other in any meaningful way. Connecting Africa's extensive railway network has recently become a priority for African nations outside of Southwest Africa, which has an integrated network. Transportation between neighboring coastal settlements is nearly always by sea, no matter the topography of the land in between them. Even basic services like telecommunications are often treated the same way. For example, phone calls between Ghana and neighboring Ivory Coast once had to be routed through Britain and France. Although Africa had numerous pre-European overland trade routes, few are suitable for modern transport such as trucks or railways especially when they cross old European colonial borders. Another problem is that in many countries the roads, railway tracks, railway rolling stock, ships and ports are often old and badly maintained and many transportation systems have barely been updated and further developed. Since the end of colonialism, despite other hot spots for war, Africa consistently remains among the top places for ongoing conflicts, consisting of both long-standing civil wars, e.g. Somalia, Democratic Republic of the Congo, ethnic conflicts that even resulted in genocides, e.g. the Rwandan genocide, and conflicts between countries. The long-standing civil wars are in part due to the border drawing of the late 19th century scramble for Africa, which did not take into account the various ethnic groups due to lack of local knowledge and research. Post-decolonization, the European set borders were accepted by various leaders, However, there remains internal and cross-border struggles, and separatist concerns by popular demand to the governments as they transition to democracy, leading to fears of further destabilization. In recent years, religious conflicts have also increased, with Islamistic paramilitary terrorist groups like Boko Haram, Nigeria, and Al-Shabaab, Somalia, having committed many brutal deadly terrorist acts that further decrease safety and prospects of development in the concerned regions. Despite a lack of basic social services or even the basic necessities of life, military forces are often well-financed and well-equipped. Acts of war and terrorism further harm the chances of development in the regions concerned as they do not only cause economic downturns but also cause severe damage to the often already underdeveloped infrastructure as well as government shutdowns further worsen the often already tense safety situation and cause large numbers of refugees. As a result, Africa is full of refugees, who are often deliberately displaced by military forces during a conflict, rather than just having fled from war-torn areas. Although many refugees emigrate to open countries such as Germany, Canada, and the United States, the ones who do emigrate are often the most educated and skilled. The remainder often become a burden on neighboring African nations that, while peaceful, are generally unable to deal with the logistical problems refugees pose as these nations are often already barely capable of, fulfilling the needs of their own population. Civil war usually has the result of totally shutting down all government services. However, any conflict generally disrupts what trade or economy there is. Sierra Leone, which depends on diamonds for much of its economic activity, not only faces disruption in production, which reduces the supply, but a thriving black market in conflict diamonds, which drives down the price for what diamonds are produced. Africa's economic malaise is self-perpetuating, 
as it engenders more of the disease, warfare, misgovernment, and corruption that created it in the first place. Other effects of poverty have similar consequences. The most direct consequence of low GDP is Africa's low standard of living and quality of life. Except for a wealthy elite and the more prosperous peoples of South Africa and the Maghreb, Africans have very few consumer goods. Quality of life does not correlate exactly with a nation's wealth. Angola, for instance, reaps large sums annually from its diamond mines, but after years of civil war, conditions there remain poor. Radios, televisions, and automobiles are rare luxuries. Most Africans are on the far side of the digital divide and are cut off from communications technology and the internet, however, use of mobile phones has been growing dramatically in recent years with 65% of Africans having access to a mobile phone. As of 2011, quality of life and human development are also low. African nations dominate the lower reaches of the UN Human Development Index. Infant mortality is high, while life expectancy, literacy, and education are all low. The UN also lowers the ranking of African states because the continent sees greater inequality than any other region. The best educated often choose to leave the continent for the West or the Persian Gulf to seek a better life. Catastrophes cause deadly periods of great shortages. The most damaging are the famines that have regularly hit the continent, especially the Horn of Africa. These have been caused by disruptions due to warfare, years of drought, and plagues of locusts. An average African faced annual inflation of over 60% from 1990 until 2002 in those few countries that account for inflation. At the high end, Angola and the Democratic Republic of the Congo both saw triple digit inflation throughout the period. Most African nations saw inflation of approximately 10% per year. Here are the top 20 richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth 20. Madagascar. Total wealth in 2023 $50 billion. Total wealth in 2021 $13 billion. With a percentage change 130.77%. Officially the Republic of Madagascar is an island country which is situated on the southeastern coast of Africa. Madagascar is one of the largest island countries in the world. The country's total wealth in 2023 came in at $50 billion, up 180.77% compared to 2021. Madagascar ranks 20th on our list of the richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth. 19. Namibia Total wealth in 2023 $81 billion. Total wealth in 2021 $30 billion. Percentage change 200.82%. Homeland to some of the most diverse wildlife in the world, Namibia is located in southwest Africa. The country is known for its wildlife and the Namib Desert along its Atlantic Ocean coast. In 2023, the country's total wealth stood at $81 billion, which makes it one of the richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth. Number 18. Senegal. With a total wealth in 2023, $61 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $41 billion. Percentage change 211.79%. Senegal is a West African country with a population of 17.54 million. The capital, Dakar, is an economic and administrative hub of the country. Senegal is one of the richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth, with total wealth in 2023 amounting to $61 billion. 17. Libya Total wealth in 2023 $64 billion. Total wealth in 2021 $56 billion. Percentage change 51.43%. The North African country, Libya, is surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea to the north and Chad to the south. Egypt and Algeria are neighbors to the east and west, respectively. Libya's wealth has depreciated by 51.43% over the last 10 years. 
With a total wealth of $64 billion in 2023, Libya is ranked 17th on our list of the richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth. Other countries like our number 16 dot which is Cameroon has a total wealth of $76 billion in 2023 in 2021, the country's total wealth was $46 billion. Percentage change, 255.56%. Cameroon is a Central African country, situated around the Gulf of Guinea. It has assorted terrain and wildlife. Cameroon's total wealth in 2023 was $76 billion, 255.56% increase as compared to 2021 when the country's wealth was $18 billion. The country is among the richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth. Number 15. Uganda. Total wealth in 2023, $69 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $49 billion. Percentage change, 256.67%. Located in East Africa, Uganda is a landlocked country with a diverse area that includes the snow-capped Ruensuri Mountains and Lake Victoria. The immense wildlife is another prominent thing about the country. In 2023, Uganda had a net worth of $69 billion and therefore makes it to our list of the richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth. Number 14 Angola Angola is a southern African nation whose varied terrain encompasses tropical Atlantic beaches, a labyrinthine system of rivers and sub-Saharan desert that extends across the border into Namibia. In 2023 Angola is rated at $70 billion unlike 2021 it was at $50 billion the country's colonial history is reflected in its Portuguese-influenced cuisine and its landmarks including Fortaleza de São Miguel, a fortress built by the Portuguese in 1576 to defend the capital. Luanda Angola has a population of 45.5 million with a vast landscape covering tropical Atlantic beaches, rivers, and the sub-Saharan desert. The country's total wealth in 2023 came in at $70 billion, up 61.76% compared to 2021. Number 13. Democratic Republic of the Congo. Total wealth in 2023, $89 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $25 billion. Percentage change, 353.33%. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the largest country in sub-Saharan Africa and is about the same size as Western Europe. The Democratic Republic of Congo is one of the largest countries in the world with a population of 99 million. In 2021, the country's total wealth stood at $59 billion. The Republic of the Congo, also called Congo Brazzaville, is a Central African nation with rainforest reserves that are habitats for gorillas. Its capital city, Brazzaville, lies across the Congo River from Kinshasa, the capital of neighboring Democratic Republic of the Congo. Brazzaville's highlights include traditional craft markets and the mid-20th century Basilique Saint Anne, with a green tile roof and spire. Number 12. Mauritius. Total wealth in 2023, $83 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $52 billion. Percentage change, 120.88%. Mauritius is located alongside the Indian Ocean and is known for its beaches, reefs, and lagoons. Rainforests, waterfalls, and different hiking trails make it a diverse landscape. With a total wealth of $83 billion in 2023, Mauritius, an Indian Ocean island nation, is known for its beaches, lagoons, and reefs. The mountainous interior includes Black River Gorges National Park, with rainforests, waterfalls, hiking trails, and wildlife like the flying fox. Capital Port Louis has sites such as the Champs de Mars Horse Track, Eureka Plantation House and 18th century Sesiwa Osaga Ramgulam Botanical Gardens. Number 11. Zimbabwe. Total wealth in 2023 $91 billion. 
Total wealth in 2021, $20 billion. Percentage change, 888.89%. Zimbabwe has made a whopping growth of 888.89% from 2021 to 2023. In 2021, the country had only $20 billion of total wealth and in 2023 it stood at $91 billion. With diverse wildlife and dramatic wildlife, Zimbabwe is a landlocked country in southern Africa known for its dramatic landscape and diverse wildlife, much of it within parks, reserves and safari areas. On the Zambezi River, Victoria Falls make a thundering 108M drop into narrow Batoka Gorge, where there's whitewater rafting and bungee jumping. Downstream are Machusadona and Mana Pools National Parks, home to hippos, rhinos and bird botanical gardens. 10. Tanzania Tanzania is an East African country known for its vast wilderness areas. They include the plains of Serengeti National Park, a safari mecca populated by the Big Five, Game, Elephant, Lion, Leopard, Buffalo, Rhino, and Kilimanjaro National Park, home to Africa's highest mountain. Offshore lie the tropical islands of Zanzibar, with Arabic influences, and Mafia, with a marine park home to whale sharks and coral reefs. Total wealth in 2023, $152 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $61 billion. Percentage change, 353.55%. Tanzania is home to some of the biggest wild animals including elephants, rhinos, buffaloes, lions, and leopards. The country's total wealth in 2023 stood at $152 billion, up by a staggering 353.55% compared to 2021. Ghana ranked at number 9 with a total wealth in 2023 $160 billion. Total wealth in 2021 $99 billion. Percentage change 235.31%. Ghana, officially the Republic of Ghana, is a country in West Africa. It abuts the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean to the south, sharing borders with Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, and Togo in the east. Officially the Republic of Ghana is a country situated in West Africa. The country's total wealth in 2021 came in at $130 billion, up 235.31% compared to 2021. Number 8 Tunisia Total wealth in 2023, $194 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $108 billion. Percentage change, 81.11%. Tunisia, officially the Republic of Tunisia, is the northernmost country in Africa. It is a part of the Maghreb region of North Africa, bordered by Algeria to the west and southwest, Libya to the southeast, and the Mediterranean Sea to the north and east. Tunisia has a population of 12.3 million and is the northernmost country in the African continent. In 2021, the country had $108 billion of total wealth and in 2002R it stood at $194 billion. Number 7 Ethiopia Total wealth in 2023, $280 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $198 billion. Percentage change, 590.91%. Ethiopia has remarkably grown its wealth by 590.91% from 2021 to 2023. In 2021, the country had $198 billion of total wealth compared to $280 in 2023. Also known as the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia is one of the richest countries in Africa is a rugged, landlocked country split by the Great Rift Valley. With archaeological finds dating back more than 3 million years, it's a place of ancient culture. Among its important sites are La Libula with its rock-cut Christian churches from the 12th to 13th centuries. Aksum is the ruins of an ancient city with obelisks, tombs, castles, and Our Lady Mary of Zion Church. Number 6. Algeria. 
Total wealth in 2020 344 billion dollars. Total wealth in 2021 257 billion dollars. Percentage change 90.89%. Algeria is a North African country with a Mediterranean coastline and a Saharan desert interior. Many empires have left legacies here, such as the ancient Roman ruins in Seaside Tipaza. In the capital, Algiers, Ottoman landmarks like circa 1612 Quechua Mosque line the hillside Kasbah Quarter, with its narrow alleys and stairways. The city's neo-Byzantine Basilica Notre Dame d'Afrique dates to French colonial. Number 5. Kenya. Total wealth in 2023 $400 billion. Total wealth in 2021 $250 billion. Percentage change 567.69%. Kenya's wealth soared by 567.69% from 2021 to 2023. In 2021, the country had $250 billion in total wealth, and in 2023, this number grew to $400 billion. Located along the Indian Ocean in East Africa Kenya is a country in East Africa with coastline on the Indian Ocean. It encompasses savannah, lakelands, the dramatic Great Rift Valley and mountain highlands. It's also home to wildlife like lions, elephants and rhinos. From Nairobi, the capital, safaris visit the Maasai Mara Reserve, known for its annual wildebeest migrations, and Amboseli National Park, offering views of Tanzania's 5895M Mount Kilimanjaro. Number 4. Morocco. Total wealth in 2023 $410 billion. Total wealth in 2021 $290 billion. Percentage change, 88.55%. Morocco borders the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. It is a country of diverse cultures such as Arabian, Berber, and European. Morocco's total wealth in 2023 is at $410 billion, up by 88.55% as compared to 2021 when the country's wealth was $290 billion Morocco, a North African country bordering the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea, is distinguished by its Berber, Arabian and European cultural influences. Marrakesh's Medina, a maze-like medieval quarter, offers entertainment in its Jamar Elfnar Square and souk selling ceramics, jewelry and metal lanterns. The capital Rabat's Kasbah of the Udayas is a 12th century royal fort overlooking the water. Number 3. Nigeria. Total wealth in 2023 $752 billion. Total wealth in 2021 $350 billion. Percentage change, 429.82%. Nigeria is one of the richest countries in the world. The African country is situated along the Gulf of Guinea. Nigeria, an African country on the Gulf of Guinea, has many natural landmarks and wildlife reserves. Protected areas such as Cross River National Park and Yankari National Park have waterfalls, dense rainforest, savanna, and rare primate habitats. One of the most recognizable sites is Zuma Rock, a 725M tall monolith outside the capital of Abuja that's pictured on the national currency. Number 2. South Africa. Total wealth in 2023, $997 billion. Total wealth in 2021, $958 billion. Percentage change, minus 4.37%. South Africa has a population of 79.8 million and the country is backed by a strong economy. The country's total wealth in 2021 stood at $958 billion and is placed second on our list of the richest countries in Africa ranked by net worth. South Africa is a country on the southernmost tip of the African continent, marked by several distinct ecosystems. Inland safari destination Kruger National Park is populated by big game. The Western Cape offers beaches, lush winelands around Stellenbosch and Pal craggy cliffs at the Cape of Good Hope, forest and lagoons along the Garden Route, and the city of Cape Town, beneath Flat Top Table Mountain. Number 1. Egypt. Total wealth in 2023, $1.9 trillion. 
total wealth in 2021, $752 billion. Percentage change, 254.53%. Egypt is the only African economy with a total wealth of over $1 trillion. The country has made staggering economic development, which makes it rank at the top of the richest countries in Africa, ranked by net worth Egypt, a country linking Northeast Africa with the Middle East, dates to the time of the pharaohs. Millennia-old monuments sit along the fertile Nile River Valley, including Giza's colossal pyramids and Great Sphinx as well as Luxus hieroglyph-lined Karnak Temple and Valley of the King's Tombs. The capital, Cairo, is home to Ottoman landmarks like Muhammad Ali Mosque and the Egyptian Museum, a trove of antiquities. Nineteen, Yassine Mansour. Net worth, $1.1 billion. Rank in 2022, 18. Net worth in 2023, $1.1 billion. Origin of wealth, diversified self-made. Age, 61. Country, Egypt. Residence, Cairo. Yassin Mansour is a shareholder in family-owned conglomerate Mansour Group, which was founded by his father Lautfai, died in 1976. In 1952. Mansour Group is the exclusive distributor of GM vehicles and Caterpillar equipment in Egypt and several other countries. His brothers Mohammed and Yousef are also billionaires and part owners of Mansour Group. He's chairman of Palm Hills Developments, one of Egypt's biggest real estate developers. Number 18. Christopher Wees. Net worth, $1.1 billion. Origin of wealth, retail self-made. Age, 81. Country, South Africa. Residence, Cape Town. Christopher Wees built his Pepco retail empire by offering bargain prices in South Africa and expanded into other African countries. In 2015, South Africa-based furniture retailer Steinhoff International spent $5.7 billion in cash and stock to acquire Pepka. He stepped down as Steinhoff chairman in December 2017 after the company disclosed accounting irregularities. Its share price plummeted and Wies lost his billionaire status. Wies regained his nine-figure fortune in 2022 when he settled his dispute with Steinhoff for cash and stock, including a 5% stake in Pepka. His most valuable asset is ShopRite, but he also holds stakes in retailer Trade Hold, PE firm Bray, industrial products company in Victor Holdings. Number 17. Mikhail LaRue. Net worth, $1.2 billion. Rank in 2022. 14. Net worth in 2023 $1.7 billion. Origin of wealth, banking self-made. Age, 73. Country, South Africa. Residence, Stellenbosch. Mikhail LaRue of South Africa founded Capitic Bank in 2001 and owns about an 11% stake. The bank, which trades on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, Target South Africa's emerging middle class. He served as chairman of the board of Capitic from 2007 to 2016 and has continued on as a board member. LaRue previously ran Boland Bank, a small regional bank in Cape Town's hinterland. Number 16. Othman Benjelaun and Family. Net worth, $1.3 billion. Rank in 2022, 15. Net worth in 2023 $1.5 billion. Origin of wealth, banking, insurance inherited and growing. Age, 90. Country, Morocco. Residence, Casablanca. Othman Benjelaun is CEO of BMCE Bank of Africa, which has a presence in more than 20 African countries. His father weighs a shareholder in IMA, a Moroccan insurance company, Benjelaun built it into a leading insurer. Through his holding company Financecom, he has a stake in the Moroccan arm of French telecom firm Orange. He inaugurated in 2014 a $500 million plan to build the 55-story Mohammed VI Tower in Rabat. Number 15. Mohammed Duji. 
Net worth, $1.5 billion. Rank in 2023-15. Net worth in 2022, $1.5 billion. Origin of wealth, diversified inherited and growing. Age, 47. Country, Tanzania. Residence, Dar es Salaam. Mohamed Duji is the CEO of Mitiel, a Tanzanian conglomerate founded by his father in the 1970s. Mitiel is active in textile manufacturing, flour milling, beverages and edible oils in eastern, southern and central Africa. Mitiel operates in at least six African countries and has ambitions to expand to several more. Duji, Tanzania's only billionaire, signed the Giving Pledge in 2016, promising to donate at least half his fortune to philanthropic causes. Duji was reportedly kidnapped at gunpoint in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania in October 2018 and released after nine days. Number 14. Aziz Akanich and Family. Net worth, $1.5 billion. Rank in 2022, 13. Net worth in 2023, $2.2 .2 billion. Origin of wealth, petroleum, diversified inherited and growing. Age, 62. Country, Morocco. Residence, Casablanca. Aziz Akanich is the majority owner of Aqua Group, a multi-billion dollar conglomerate founded by his father and a partner, Ahmed Wakrim, in 1932. It has interests in petroleum, gas and chemicals through publicly traded Afrikia gas and Maghreb oxygen. Akanich was appointed Prime Minister of Morocco in September 2021. Number 13. Yusef Mansour. Net worth, $1.5 billion. Rank in 2023-15. Net worth in 2022, $1.5 billion. Origin of wealth, diversified self-made. Age, 77. Country, Egypt. Residence, Cairo. Yusef Mansour is chairman of family-owned conglomerate Mansour Group, which was founded by his father Lautfai, died in 1976, in 1952. Mansour Group is the exclusive distributor of GM vehicles and Caterpillar equipment in Egypt and several other countries. He oversees the consumer goods division, which includes supermarket chain Metro, and sole distribution rights for L'Oreal in Egypt. Younger brothers Mohamed and Yassine are also billionaires and part owners of Mansur Group. Number 12. Strive Mosiyiwa. Net worth, $1.9 billion. Rank in 2022, 10. Net worth in 2023, $2.7 billion. Origin of wealth, telecom self-made. Age, 61. Country, United Kingdom. Residence, London. Strive Mosiyiwa overcame protracted government opposition to launch mobile phone network Econet Wireless Zimbabwe in his country of birth in 1998. He owns just over 50% of the publicly traded Econet Wireless Zimbabwe, which is one part of his larger Econet group. Mosiyiwa also owns just over half of private company Liquid Telecom, which provides fiber optic and satellite services to telecom firms across Africa. His other assets include stakes in mobile phone networks in Burundi and Lesotho, and investments in fintech and power distribution firms in Africa. Number 11. Kuz Becker. Net worth, $2.6 billion. Rank in 2022, 10. Net worth in 2023, $2.7 billion. Origin of wealth, media, investment self-made. Age, 70. Country, South Africa. Residence, Cape Town. Kuz Becker is revered for transforming South African newspaper publisher Naspers into an e-commerce investor and cable TV powerhouse. He led Naspers to pay a reported $34 million for a third of Chinese internet firm Tencent Holdings in 2001, perhaps the greatest venture investment ever. 
In 2019, Naspers put some assets into two publicly traded companies, entertainment firm Multichoice Group and Prosus, which contains the Tencent stake. Naspers sold a 2% stake in Tencent in 2018. Becker, who retired as the CEO of Naspers in March 2014, returned as chairman in April 2015. Number 10. Mohamed Mansour. Net worth, $2.8 billion. Rank in 2022, 12. Net worth in 2023, $2.5 billion. Origin of wealth, diversified self-made. Age, 75. Country, Egypt. Residence, Cairo. Number 9. Patrice Motsep. Net worth, $3.1 billion. Rank in 2022, 9. Net worth in 2023, $3.1 billion. Origin of wealth, mining self-made. Age, 60. Country, South Africa residence, Johannesburg. Patrice Motsep, the founder and chairman of African Rainbow Minerals, became a billionaire in 2008, the first black African on the Forbes list. In 2016, he launched a private equity firm, African Rainbow Capital, focused on investing in Africa. Motsep also has a stake in San Lam, a listed financial services firm, and is the president and owner of the Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club. In March 2021, Motsep was elected president of the Confederation of African Football, the sports governing body on the continent. In 1994, he became the first black partner at law firm Bowman Gilfillan in Johannesburg, and then started a mining services contracting business. In 1997, he bought low producing gold mine shafts and later turned them profitable. Number 8. Naguib Saw Iris. Net worth. $3.3 billion. Rank in 2022, 8. Net worth in 2022, $3.4 billion. Origin of wealth, telecom inherited and growing. Age, 68. Country, Egypt. Residence, Cairo. Naguib Saw Iris is a scion of Egypt's wealthiest family. His brother Nasef is also a billionaire. Asterisk he built a fortune in telecom, selling Oriscom Telecom in 2011 to Russian telecom firm Vimplecom, now Vion, in a multi-billion dollar transaction. His chairman of Oriscom TMT Investments, which has stakes in an asset manager in Egypt and Italian internet company Italia Online, among others. Through his Media Globe holdings, Zoiris owns 88% of pan-European pay TV and video news network Euronews. He also developed a luxury resort called Silver Sands on the Caribbean island of Grenada. Number 7. Isad Rebrab and Family. Net worth, $4.6 billion. Rank in 2023, 7. Net worth in 2022, $5.1 billion. Origin of wealth, food self-made. Age, 79. Country, Algeria. Residence, Algiers. Rebrap founded Sevital and served as its CEO for more than 50 years. He named his son, Malik, CEO in July 2022. Sevital, Algeria's biggest privately held company, owns one of the largest sugar refineries in the world, with the capacity to produce 2 million tons a year. Sevital owns European companies, including French home appliances maker Group Brandt, an Italian steel mill and a German water purification company, X. Mike Adenuga. Net worth, $5.6 billion. Rank in 2022, 6. Net worth in 2023, $6.7 billion. Origin of wealth, telecom and oil self-made. Age, 69. Country, Nigeria. Residence, Lagos. Adenuga, Nigeria's third richest man, built his fortune in telecom and oil production. His mobile phone network, Globacom, is the third largest operator in Nigeria, with 55 million subscribers. Hisoil Exploration at Fit, 
Conol Producing operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta. Adenuga got an MBA at Pace University in New York, supporting himself as a student by working as a taxi driver. He made his first million at age 26 selling lace and distributing soft drinks. Number 5. Nasef Soiris. Net worth, $7.2 billion. Rank in 2022, 4. Net worth in 2023, $8.6 billion. Origin of wealth, construction and investments. Inherited and growing. Age, 62. Country, Egypt. Residence, Cairo. In sportswear maker Adidas. In December 2020, he acquired a 5% stake in New York-listed firm Madison Square Garden Sports, owner of the NBA Knicks and the NHL Rangers teams. He runs OCI, one of the world's largest nitrogen fertilizer producers, with plants in Texas and Iowa. It trades on the Euronext Amsterdam Exchange. Oriscom Construction, an engineering and building firm, trades on the Cairo Exchange and Nasdaq Dubai. His holdings include stakes in cement giant Lafarge Holcim and Adidas. He sits on the supervisory board of Adidas. Nasef Soiris teamed up with Fortress Investment Group's Wes Edens to purchase the Premier League's Aston Villa Football Club. Number 4. Abdulsamad Rebu. Net worth, $7.6 billion. Rank in 2022, 5. Net worth in 2023, $7 billion. Origin of wealth, cement and sugar inherited and growing. Age, 62. Country, Nigeria. Residence, Lagos. Abdulsamad Rebu is the founder of BUA Group, a Nigerian conglomerate active in cement production, sugar refining and real estate. Asterisk in early January 2020, Rebu merged his privately owned Obu Cement Company with listed firm Cement Company of Northern Nigeria, which he controlled. The combined firm, called BUA Cement PLC, trades on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Rebu owns 98.2% of it. Rebu, the son of a businessman, inherited land from his father. He set up his own business in 1988 importing iron, steel and chemicals. Number 3. Nicky Oppenheimer and Family. Net worth $8.4 billion. Rank in 2022, 3. Net worth in 2023, $8.7 billion. Origin of wealth, diamonds inherited. Age, 77. Country, South Africa. Residence, Johannesburg. Nicky Oppenheimer, heir to the De Beers Diamond Fortune, sold his 40% of the firm to mining group Anglo-American for $5.1 billion in cash in 2012. Asterisk he was the third generation of his family to run De Beers, and took the company private in 2001. For 85 years until 2012, the Oppenheimer family occupied a controlling spot in the world's diamond trade. In 2014, Oppenheimer started Fireblade Aviation in Johannesburg, which operates chartered flights. He owns at least 720 square miles of conservation land across South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. Number 2. Johann Rupert and Family. Net worth, $10.7 billion. Rank in 2022, 2. Net worth in 2022, $11 billion. Origin of wealth, luxury goods inherited and growing. Age, 72. Country, South Africa. Residence, Cape Town. Johann Rupert Skamanov's Swiss luxury goods firm company financier Richemont. The company is best known for the brands Cartier and Mont Blanc. It was formed in 1998 through Haspinoff of assets owned by Rembrandt Group Limited, now Rembro Limited, which his father Anton formed in the 1940s. Hound 7% of diversified investment firm Rembro, which he chairs, as well as 26% of Raynet, an investment holding company based in Luxembourg. Rupert has been a vocal opponent of plants to allow fracking in the Karoo, 
a region of South Africa where he owns land. Number 1 Aliko Dangote With a net worth $13.5 billion Rank in 2022 1. Net worth in 2022 $13.9 billion Origin of wealth cement and sugar self-made Age 65 Country Nigeria Residence Lagos Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest person, founded and chairs Dangote Cement, the continent's largest cement producer. He owns 85% of publicly traded Dangote Cement through a holding company. Dangote Cement has the capacity to produce 48.6 million metric tons annually and has operations in 10 countries across Africa. After many years in development, Dangote's fertilizer plant in Nigeria began operations in March 2022. Dangote Refinery has been under construction since 2016 and is expected to be one of the world's largest oil refineries once complete. This continent's 19 billionaires are worth an estimated $81.8 billion, down from the $84.9 billion that 18 African billionaires had 12 months ago. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.